whichever slave has a low address will get the early access to talk over the bus. Initially, the SDA line will be pulled to low for four consecutive clock cycles after the start bit. And after that, it will change the status to logic high, denoting one on the bus because both of these masters are doing it simultaneously. Now, master one is addressing to 0x04. So we'll pull the SDA line to zero on the next clock pulse. And at the same time, master two is addressing to 0x06 and it will try to maintain the SDA line to logic high. Well, both masters are monitoring this SDA line. The SDA line is connected to the open drain configuration of the devices. Now, master two sends one on the SDA line, but the SDA line is already pulled low by the internal transistor of the master one. Mm -hmm. Master two understands that even if I kept the SDA line high, it is showing low. That means some other device is accessing the bus at the same time. And that's how the slave who has low address gets higher priority and master two stops sending the data.